Hi there, you are going to join me at the Big Goodwill. The Big Goodwill is located out on Route 30, and it's called the Big Goodwill because it's the biggest out of the three Goodwills that are located here in Lancaster. This is the purse section. I normally don't look at this section, but I thought I'd give those of you who do know purses a look at the purses, and then you can yell at me, you should have missed that, you should have picked that up, you missed that. Um, I don't really know purses, so I usually leave them there. They had this little end cap before you enter into the clear glass section. I was checking this out. It seemed like something was missing, like maybe oil and that little boat would float. I'm not sure. Like, it seemed like something was missing from that. And what I am doing here, besides moving really fast, <laughs> Well, I found this white milk glass. Let's get to this first. And I picked it up. You'll see at the end of the video why I picked this one up because there is a swirl within the white milk glass that I think is really, really pretty. Very, very subtle. You kind of see it there. I do show it more at the end of the video. Uh, I thought it was nice and it wasn't priced really high. So I decided to let's throw the, well, let's gently place the milk glass in the cart. What I'm looking for here is I'm looking for clear glass uh, I guess you could call them vessels for my uh, uh, resin art. And I will also show, uh, I have shown them on what not sales, but I'll show them here also at the end of the video. I have made, uh, I've completed two of them, one out of a butter dish and then one out of that dish right there. And I feel like it's giving these clear glass pieces new life. I'm, I don't, I'm not taking away, um, you know, Baccarat crystal <laughs> or Waterford crystal or anything. It's a $1.99 banana, uh, uh, banana split dish. And on the one piece that I'm going to show you, I actually took a piece, uh, it's a deer that was broken, that was beheaded. And I didn't realize it until I put it in the light box of truth that it had been repaired. So that is my idea to take broken figurines and clear glass kind of cast offs and make them into little pieces of art. This I thought was super cute. I thought this would be cute for a really teeny tiny little work of art. It had still had the spoon in it. Then I thought this would be pretty with a, you know, kind of a raised pedestal look. So the clear glass that you see me getting, I'm not really going to, well, I don't show it at the end of the video that I bought it because I bought it for myself. I didn't buy it for resale. I have sold some resin pieces on my last whatnot sale. I sold rabbits and owls and uh, mushrooms for the giveaway. And then I also had little flower vases, um, part of that vintage 1969 uh, flower arrangement. And that was a lot of fun. And then I just got a whole bunch of new molds in. So I'm very, very excited to share this new resin adventure with you. This I actually have. It's glass bake and mine has a white wrap and that one had the black plastic wrap. And then here is a look at the clear glass section. This was the store wasn't very busy today. So it, it looks like there's no one there, but there, there were some people there. But it was nice. It was easy to maneuver and get around in the store. I was seeing if this was stained glass. I felt it wasn't. And whoa, whoa, hey, <laughs> bouncing around there. I think I was getting down uh, lower to show you this. I thought it was a bottom to a fairy lamp or a fairy light, kind of that home co cubist one. This was more oval and I didn't see a second half to it, a top to it. And then giving you more of a look back here, seeing what's in the very, very back. I did find some more clear glass that I, thought was pretty interesting. They had this textured piece and later pretty soon I'm going to pick up another textured piece that had a lid to it. I felt that this might have had a lid at one time and it was missing maybe or maybe it was just a drinking tumbler. I am not sure. You always have to look in the very very back. I thought this was a good deal. It was only $4.99 if they did work. I know my friend has taken these and put them underneath her her kitchen cabinet as kind of spotlights. That well, if these all worked, that's a good deal for only five bucks. But I wasn't in the market for those, so I left them there. And let's see, whoa, we're getting really close and personal with the shelf. Oh, these I thought would be really cute for the resin art. Little, little square uh, ashtrays. And then I noticed that there was some etching on them and it was an award or some kind of business thanking you. See, you can kind of see it says Washington or something. There was something etched on them and that would just show through with the resin even if it was a dark color. So 
So I was kind of disappointed. I thought that would be like the perfect size. But then here is where I'm going to find, look, this, here's the textured, textured jar. This looks like it was probably a vanity or a dresser jar. There is a chip to the lid, but it's with the texture on the glass. It's hard to see. I didn't really see it at first. Um, I think that it did have something painted on it because there's little bits of pink embedded in that textured part. These angels caught my eye because the, the light was kind of bouncing off them. I knew when I was going to pick them up that they were going to be heavy. I believe that these are Mikasa crystal angels. They weren't very much at all. I think they were $1.99 a piece. And I don't think they're huge sellers, but they're in perfect condition. They're not chipped off or anything. You know, the wings are still intact. They haven't been beheaded. And I thought, well, these will be really pretty. And I show at the end of the video how you can add a votive to the bottom of them. And it kind of makes them look kind of magical. Now we're moving on to the very next aisle. It's where they have all the white colored items. And these stood out to me, these little blueberry uh, boxes. I thought those were adorable. I do find out the name of them. It's at the end of the video. I put up the brand name, but uh, I, I was seeing if I recognize the brand name, but then I decided that they were so, there's a close up of my bracelet. <laughs> I decided to get them just because I thought they were so sweet. You could use them for real fruit or for display. I thought they were really, really nice. And there's two of them. They stack really nicely. Then they nestle together. Look at that. And then that one is a pure one. And I thought that was nice too. It does have a teeny weeny little chip on the corner, but I, I still thought it was nice. And then next to it, I normally would have passed by this little mantle clock, but I recently had one of these in a box lot at an auction. And I just decided, well, let me Google lens this. And it uh, sold for good money. And so I thought, well, let's give this a try too. Look at turtle. Those are cute. I put my thinking cap on and you came to mind. Look how cute these cards are. They're from 1994, Ottenheimer. So I put my thinking cap on and you came to mind. What did one computer say to the other? And I think you peel them back and there's the answer there. I really like the graphics on them. Don't count the candles, just go and then <laughs> They have a little thing in there with lots of love on your anniversary. Look how cute these are. You take the cake. Are you feeling blue? Take those roses out of the vase and put them back in your cheeks. It's your day. Have your cake and eat it too. And then they repeat. Those are super cute. We have a little vintage, uh, like this, 1995, little shell, wall pocket, Studio Miller, that's cute, and then up here, there's a little basket, or it's a bag, $3.99 FTD, made in Japan, I bet that was a cute little display, oh, this one's $2.99, <laughs> that one's $3.99, Oh, that one comes with a dead uh, <laughs> bloom. But that's cute. That's cute. The flower. Little tidbit tray. Pike and hammer. Made in, oh, made in Czech Republic. That's really pretty. That'd be a nice little dresser thing. I know it's a tibet tray, but that'd be a nice little dresser thing. Mr. Pink in that hat. Bavaria. This looks contemporary. It's another pretty piece. What does that say? Oh, I think someone had this in their antique booth or. 15 made in Germany and you can get it here at Goodwill for zero money <laughs> Moving on down the line here was a little seductive angel I Moved it to the front so someone could see it and then this I was excited for just like a second that it was a lady head vase And then I realized it was a bank 
of a girl's head, but I feel that there was something on top of the head that was missing because there was kind of a glue mark there. And then moving some more, this made me nervous. I thought it was gonna fall. So I pushed it back to, safe, <laughs> to safety. And then I found this mug that it said pharmacists are exceptional people. And I've never seen a pharmacist mug before. <laughs> and I think I've looked at this before. I think I looked at this vase in the last video when, when I came here to Big Goodwill. It's catching my eye, obviously. Giving you a look at the shelves as well. Don't want to miss the bottom shelves. And then we're going to slowly turn and go down the other side. I do like to look at the end caps because you do find things. Uh, St. Joseph is still here. I still haven't, it, it's, it hasn't been like, oh, I need to get him. Oh, it's, he's still here. I'll get him. I don't know. I just, for some reason, I haven't picked him up yet. And I think he's been at the last three times I've been to this Goodwill. That had some chips on the flowers, unfortunately. It's a cute little trinket dish. I had gone, sh this is the shopping day before my vintage vanity sale. So I was looking for other vanity items. And so that is why that tidbit tray, I said, oh, this would make a good thing for your vanity because I didn't think I had enough items, but I, it turned out I did. And so these things I did not sell on my vanity sale. Do you see anything that you wish I had picked up? Do you wish I had picked up this chicken? Cause I did. Look at this chicken. It has a made in China sticker. It's obviously contemporary. I think she has such a sweet look on her face. Big plump chicken would look adorable in your farmhouse kitchen. I think it's just so, so cute. And then we're still in the white section. Here's a little trinket dish. This is, I was thinking, oh, this would be cute for vanity. And like I said, I ended up having enough items. But some of the things you see me pick up, I probably will have um, on the, my whatnot sale and then, all, of course, on eBay. And I have been doing whatnot sales every Friday at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So be sure and check it out if you haven't checked it out yet. I do have an affiliate link to whatnot for your very, very, very first purchase. You can get $15 off. That's in the description of every video. And then if you're interested in finding my eBay store, there is a link to my website, flyingpigthrifts.com, and there will be a link to my eBay. Also my Instagram. I think I'm 10 people away from 10,000 followers on Instagram, which is super exciting to me. Oh, some wax for $4.99, a box of torture. <laughs> Yeah, look, Christmas tree shop. Dollar ninety nine. That's a Hallmark plate. from Cracker Barrel, $2.99. I wasn't quite sure what this was at first. I moved it so it was in front of me because there was a couple people in the aisle uh, checking to see if this was a glassy baby. Obviously it was not. <laughs> and then here is some Marigold Carnival glass and uh, Goodwill had it priced at $6.99. And then over here they had some corks that had kind of African safari themed animals. I think it was originally $20. That was kind of neat if you had that thing going in your bar. I thought this was old at first and then I realized it was new. Awesome. Oh, it goes this way. That's upside down though. <laughs> it should go this way, right? But then it's hanging on the back and it would fall right off your wall. like that strawberry one am I wrong with that strawberry plaque it looked like it was upside down they had put the hanger on the wrong ends maybe someone lived with it upside down for 20 years and then they were like you know what we're donating this <laughs> it looked like it was upside down to me this is false craft 
the creamer and sugar. You see this quite a bit around here. Uh, let's see. Oh, this, I, I did kind of think about getting this. This was originally a souvenir. I thought about it because the deer was on there and it still had the pen. It felt like something that uh, Kate from Follow That Bug would have would have gotten, would have picked up. I don't know. I thought about it for a little bit. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, no, twelve. And they are asking dollar ninety-nine piece. Looks like a marriage here, three ninety-nine. And it has the spoon still. I wonder if he's riding a horse or something. Or a dragon. A dragon. Now I'm not quite sure what aisle we're in. <laughs> Mishmash aisle. Maybe pink and red. I found a trinket. North Pole uh, Post Office. There wasn't a trinket inside it. I do like picking them up when they have the little trinkets inside. And I thought this little hobbyist piece was super cute. Someone did a really nice job on her from 1976. Look at those bright colors. I do sometimes pick up hobbyist pieces, but not today. And then I thought maybe this was old, but I, I felt that it was more contemporary when I picked it up. I spied this plastic covered probably candy dish and I thought oh this would be a good dresser item and then I thought more about it and I thought it would make a neat little vessel for resin it had a big chip right there and it had a lot of wear to it it was dirty but it cleaned up really nicely and you will see the butter dish that I made into an aquarium and I think this would be cute as an aquarium as well because it's already blue we'll see I did I did buy it for myself there was a uh, Spongebob Squarepants I think that's Patrick I think that was a little bag of aquarium things. This giant seashell was nice, but I felt like it was a mold. It wasn't a real one. That's what it looked like to me, you know, real quick looking at it. And just seeing if there's anything else that catches my eye. This was nice because it had the original sticker on it. A little hand painted, probably, I would guess, covered butter dish. And over here on the end cap, this was really, really neat. Someone had made this in honor of this couple's wedding anniversary, and you can see the detail on it. It was really, really neat. It was $5, and then on the back, they had some more information about who was in the wedding party. I thought that was really super cool, but very specific. I think this is more of an item if I had a an antique booth. I probably would pick that up for it because it does have... Uh, local in St. Mary's Church that it, we do have a church here in Lancaster called St. Mary's so I just I thought it was neat I enjoyed reading it and um, you know the, the history of it I didn't really like this clown plaque though at least the hanger was on the right end <laughs> it wasn't going to fall off your your wall but I did leave that bell plate there this was neat seeing this is old bingo chips and cards when I was a teacher one of the fun things that we did at the end of the year was all the lower grades we had a big bingo calling you know everyone come into the cafeteria and we play this huge game of bingo and I always enjoyed calling out the bingo numbers that kind of reminded me of that time and then look at this I've sold this before this is made for false craft and there's the sticker and it has a little insert this glass insert comes out and it has a frosted owl and I have sold this before and I thought well you know what I'm gonna sell it again <laughs> I love picking up owl things and some of the molds that came in um, the mail today from Timu not sponsored yet um, were owl molds so I have different owl molds to share with you guys um, this Friday I can't wait here's a look at the aisles again we're in the black section usually don't find anything here I was seeing if this was vintage but when I flipped it over it had batteries so I felt it was more on the more modern contemporary side and then this definitely had some age I think that this is a heating pad and the uh, fabric alone doesn't that bring back some memories 
I thought that was fantastic. Again, that I would pick that up if I had an antique booth, but I'm not gonna buy it uh, for eBay or whatnot, but still super cool fabric. And then in this bag were some drawer pulls. They seem kind of just ordinary brass metal pulls. Pulls, and then this little dish was interesting. It had different kinds of Santa Clauses on it. I flipped it over to see if it had a name. I didn't really notice a name pop right out, and it, and it did have some wear to it, so I put it back on the shelf. I actually took a picture of this little artistic hobbyist piece and sent it to Jody of Studio 36 Banger. That's her name on whatnot. She really likes beavers and I sent her the picture of it. And I said, look, raccoons, they're beaver adjacent. <laughs> I wish it had been beavers because I definitely would have bought it for her and uh, <laughs> sent it off to her. I thought it was kind of cute. Now we're um, in the Christmas section. For some reason, they had a bull and matador in the Christmas section. And for some reason, they put it in a plastic bag. So even though I do not condone bullfighting, it de definitely has a vintage look to it. But uh, because it had been put in the bag, it was already broken. And now I went back down the clear glass section one more time. And I found a little underplate to go with the jar, the cover jar. So that is what I'm showing to you. And then I also found a snap-on uh, tool tumbler and I know snap-on tools sell well when I go to auctions so I thought I'd give it a chance and maybe someone needs a replacement glass. Here is a look, close up look of the milk glass. Look as I turn it on my Lazy Susan. You can kind of see the swirl up there. See? Do you kind of see it? It has kind of a blue green swirl to it. It's very very pretty, very subtle. You, you would probably miss it if I wasn't really showing this close view of it, but I really thought it was very nice and the price was right. And here's what it looks like all cleaned up. Here is everything else that I picked up on this trip to Goodwill. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like, look how cool it is with the lights under it, right? If you do like this, and this does work, if you do like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. It's absolutely free. Stay tuned for after the haul because I'm going to show you the pictures of the little aquarium I made and then the ban uh, banana ice cream dish art that I also made from my resin. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see ya.